Hey yo, what is poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, I think I just rolled the footage of me getting some materials. I only spent $17 and this is gonna come out looking fantastic, let me tell you. Uh, as I was saying. So, if you don't follow me on Instagram and TikTok, first of all, go ahead and do that. Shameless plug, at Gabe LK. Um, you will see stuff that YouTube does not see, like, you know, you'll see stuff first. Because I post on there more often. It's just, you know, easier. I post stuff on my story, post stuff on my TikTok all the time. Because, you know, it's just like two buttons. I don't have to edit. I don't have to do any of that crap. Anyways, I got a new snake. I got a new pet. It's a snake. It's from Australia. I've noticed a theme in that most of my animals come from Oceania. I think I have a problem. Because I don't live there. Anyways, um... It's a carpet python. It's a jaguar carpet python, actually. So jaguars are known to have a little bit of a neurological issue, which she does have to. They just uh, jig a lot and like to hang upside down. And they're, they're just, you know. I didn't buy the snake. It was a rescue. So um, it just wasn't kept well. My buddy Max actually gave her to me, which he got from uh, another guy who had her just in his garage. No heating very low amounts of feeding. I mean, the snake was skinny, super skinny, and just not doing well. So I rescued her, and I've had her for about, um, I don't know, a few weeks now. And uh, I wanna make a really cool, she's about four foot, I wanna make a really cool 3D background for her tank. Australian themed, of course, with some orange-ish, you'll, you'll see. It's gonna be made out of stucco, it's gonna look great. Let me show you the snake donut. Why don't I do that? I'm sure you guys probably already bored of me talking and the birds screaming. So let me show you the snake. So here she is in all her glory. Her name is Emily. It's quite fitting. I'm sorry if your name is Emily. I know you probably don't want to be named after a snake or a snake, snake named after you, but yeah, you get what you, you deserve, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. She's a really cool snake. Love her. There you can see some of her weirdness. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> she eats, she poops, she's healthy. That's what matters. Um, she's quite funny. I really enjoy watching her. But I'm going to make, I'm going to hopefully make something really cool for her. I'm also going to clean out that water bowl. She put a lot of dirt in there. She is quite the character. But all right, she's in a 40 gallon breeder. Um, it's not gonna be her final cage because she is gonna get around eight feet long as an adult. So this is just a temporary cage, but I do wanna make an Australian themed. And I honestly, I don't really care if it's, it's gonna be stucco, so it's gonna stay Australian themed for the rest of this cage's existence. But I don't, I don't really care. It's gonna look great and I'm sure she'll love it. So I had to get some really hardy plants because well, this is what she does to plants. That's a flattened fern right there. So, yeah, I'm actually gonna hold her while I do the scape. She's gonna go in a tub because, well, I don't have anywhere else to put her and this is gonna take a few, a uh, few days at least. I'm gonna get her out, put her in her temporary enclosure and get to work. If it unblurs, this is a tub I'll keep her in for a few days, she'll be perfectly fine. Uh, I'll give her some water every day if she chooses to. She ate yesterday, so she doesn't need to eat for a while. And it's got holes in it for ventilation, not too big, so she can't escape. She'll be totally fine. It might look a little tight, but that's that's okay. Snakes like to be coiled up anyways, and she was kept in a tub before I got her. So she spent her entire life in a container about this big. A few more days, won't hurt. Now this... This is gonna be the main centerpiece of this enclosure. I actually found this while hiking, and I, I immediately was like, oh my god, this is gonna be perfect for like anything. Like any sort of animal that likes to climb and likes to hide in like smaller spaces is gonna love this log, dude. The most challenging part is gonna be finding a way to make it fit like snugly, but also not look terrible inside of that enclosure, because that is a small, uh, not small, but, that's a big log, and that's like a regular sized tank, so it'll be challenging. We'll see. Also, this water dish is gonna, this water dish is gonna be a nightmare. 
because I'd like to have for her to have a tub, a large tub like that where she can go hide, but it's going to take up so much room. I'll figure something out. We'll see. All right, so I'm cutting the cardboard right now, and I'm making sure that there's a fitting for the water bowl. That's exactly where I want it to go. What I'm gonna do is create a layer of stucco on the outside of the water bowl too, so that when I slide it in, it looks like nothing unless you look from the top. It just looks like part of the background sticking out more. I feel like that's probably the best way of doing this, in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep cutting, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so the cardboard, right now this is just a background. Now I'm gonna add the shelves, but it's all taped in. So that's not going nowhere. You can see where the water area is gonna be. So it's coming together, slowly but surely. It'll be done in a little while. So I'm gonna incorporate the log. So I'm thinking of putting it like that. So from, from a front angle view, it's sticking a little bit, uh, pointing a little bit upwards and it's not getting in the way of the water and it's just, i think it's going to look pretty good right there how that is all right i'm going to keep working do some shelves and then hopefully the sun doesn't go down and we can get working on the stucco all right so i'm done with the cardboard work now i'm gonna actually get some rocks break them up with that hammer and put them in the places i want them to sit in and uh then we can start mixing stucco gonna look great all right so I've got a few smashed up rocks made a mess over there but it's gonna look pretty good all right time to actually start mixing now now I made this first batch very liquidy just to make sure that I can coat everything like even like the side panels right here where it's just glass just coat it um, this is just so you can't see anything the next coat is going to be much thicker and that's what's going to actually you know create the structures and everything like that hold this all together this is just like almost like paint all right i'm gonna get to work all right so i made a little bit of a mess but i'll clean that up uh later it'll be fine things still shuts that's what matters um i got i put in some branches because the snake does like climbing so she'll have a few areas where she can climb on and I actually just went out and pulled this out of the tree one of the trees in the yard it's a big old vine i think i'm going to chop it up into a few pieces and put it across the the tank in general for her to you know be able to wrap around and just enjoy it's looking pretty dang good um i'm waiting for the background to dry it's gonna take a few hours so i can do the sides uh because i can't i have to you know tilt it on the side to do that I can't really do it right now when it's sitting like that. It's gonna look pretty dang good, guys. All right, so you guys can't really see much. Also, sorry about the cars, but, um, well, I put a layer of stucco basically across the whole tank. I'm just missing this, this area right here. I just need to go in tomorrow. Or well, not tomorrow, but a little bit later, because it's gonna, it's gonna have time to dry. Because, well, right now it's super wet, as you guys can see. Remember, this is the bottom, right here. These are the sides, that is the back. And the top is up here. So this is facing a little bit upwards. Overall, I'm happy with how it's coming out. It's got some nice sticks for her to climb. Uh, I was going to put that vine in, but then I remembered it's going to get in the way of the water. So, And I want to make sure that... Changing the water is as quick and as easy as it can be, because it is... A pain if it's not as you guys can see but yeah this is all gonna get painted orange well except for the wood of course but all the stucco area is gonna get painted orangish tomorrow or whenever the stucco is done drying so yeah around tomorrow oh sorry guys it's cold anyways this is looking pretty good I think that's where I'm gonna end it for tonight I will be back tomorrow with you guys I'll keep working I uh, just it's just gonna get well, it's already basically too dark for you guys to see. Oh, you guys like my Christmas decorations? That was kind of tilted, but that's okay. Looking good. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. The stucco is basically dry. I did uh, one water treatment overnight just to make it a little stronger. But so now all it needs is paint. 
which I have, and I'm just gonna get my uh, my Picasso on, my um, Leonardo da Vinci on. You know, gonna get get this uh, nice and orange. Uh, I'm excited, guys. This is gonna look pretty dang good. This is where the water is gonna be, right down there. Oh yeah, look at that. She's got all these nice branches which are stuck in there. So these guys are not going anywhere and she'll be able to climb right up on them. This is gonna be cool looking. All right, time to get painting. So I've got some nice new paint brushes and I'm just gonna get to work. The smaller one used for, you know, the little detail work, get around this wood and the bigger one just for like the sides and, you know, the big open areas where I could just clobber the paint on there. It's gonna look pretty dang good. Also, there's Crappy up there. Told you, he'll stay. He's always, he's always watching, man. Always. So I am done painting. I did the sides and the back. Came out pretty dang good. I'm excited to see this bad boy with some dirt and plants in here. It's gonna look great. I cannot wait. And uh, I will probably be doing that tomorrow because I want to let this paint cure. I also probably got to put this this tank inside because it is looking like it's gonna rain. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with the results. All right guys, so I finished um, doing all the paint and everything. The tank is already down in the basement because it was starting to rain. And I look up in that tree and there is a massive, where is the tree? Let me point at it, uh, that one. There is a massive bald eagle. It's a little boy from what I can tell, just sitting in that tree. And I'm like 99% sure it is a young male bald eagle without its full pattern yet. So I actually took some pictures right now and I will put those in the video. Um, just a cool little, you know, just thing happening. Hopefully Crappy doesn't get eaten down here. He better watch out, but dude, that was so cool. It's nuts, that thing is in basically in my backyard. And I live on the beach, dude, what? That's so crazy. Florida, baby, I'll take it. Ah. All right, guys, so we have our dirt, which we're actually going to cap with sand. That is just for the nutrients, for the plants. Um, but, yeah, we have our dirt, which I'm also going to pour back there because I'm planting stuff back there. This is the light. It's just sitting right there right now because it's open. Whew, this dirt was heavy. Anyways, um, it's looking great. I cannot wait to have the snake in here, but that's going to have to wait a few days right now. We're just putting substrate. God, this is going to be nice. This is going to be a nice tank. All right, guys, so it is done. Um, well, the snake isn't in there, but, you know, basically done. Uh, that's what we're going with. We have for substrate, we have dirt under a capping layer of sand. Do not worry, the snake will not be fed in the tank. So I'm not worried about the snake getting any sand in his digestive tract and getting impacted. That's not going to be a problem because I always take her out to feed anyways, so... Not really worried about that. There's water. This enclosure to build the scape cost me $17.28 total. Um, it is so cheap. If you guys, if you guys want to put in the work and put in the hours, it can be so cheap and you guys can come out with amazing tanks. These plants I found those plants. I bought, they were $2 each. This piece of wood, beautiful log, it's hollow for the snake, found it, walking around outside in the woods. Those branches, found them, walking around in the woods. This was such a cheap build, and it comes out looking amazing. And this is perfect for like any like Australian species really, like deserty species, of course this Carpet pythons actually come from the rainforest in Australia. They don't actually come from the desert. But I did want to make a 
sort of desert themed enclosure. So I went with a little less plants, but she's still got branches to climb on and she's still got that log and plenty of water as you guys can see, a big tub of water. God, I love this tank. I love the way it came out, it looks fantastic. Ooh. Cannot wait to have her in there. I will have her in there in this video. I'm just gonna wait a few more days for everything to settle in, everything to cure the plants to settle in. Just wanna make sure that the habitat is perfect for her. So I'm not gonna add her in just yet. God, this looks great. And you guys are blurry. There we go. Beautiful tank. Here she is. What a good girl. Hi, Emily. She is great. I love this snake. But yep, I have this glove on just to make sure she does not bite me. Once again, I've only had the snake for like a week, so I haven't really learned her body language. I haven't learned her her temperament exactly. So, you know, take some precaution because she does have 80 teeth and, you know, I like my skin not bleeding. And there she goes doing her weird thing. So cute. God, I'm excited to have her in here. You gonna like your tank, Emily? Yeah. God, it's gonna be so cool. Alright guys, so it's been a few days. Everything's had some time to curate. What I'm gonna go in and do now is I'm gonna go in and change the water on Emily's permanent, or not permanent, but her tank where she's going in. Just because some paint did fall in there as everything was drying, you know, some stuff does chip. And I just want to make sure to get that nice and clean for her because there's also some dirt when I was putting soil in there. So I'm just going to clean that out and then she gets to go in. I'm super excited to see how she behaves in here, if she goes straight to her log or what she's going to do. I'm just interested. So we'll see that. Also, do you hear the crow? And there's so many birds in here. Oh my god. All right. Anyways, back to the video. All right, guys. So I'm going to place her in her enclosure. Let's see. No, I don't want you to climb right out. Emily, come on. Go into the log. Let's see how she likes that. That's what I'm really excited to see. There she goes. She's going to the back. She's sniffing around. See, I want her to get in there so I can put the lid on and actually have some lights for you guys. So I'm just going to plop her on in there. All right, Emily. Boop. Move your little snake butt out of the way. There we go. All right. All right, so I've got the lid on. God, she looks gorgeous in there. I love this. Wow, look at that. That is such a, oh my God, she looks great in there. Ignore her little, little spat, her little like head jig thing. She's just checking everything out, sniffing around. Looking for any holes she can fit in. She is so gorgeous. Holy cow. I'm gonna get a better camera and get some actual like good shots of her in there. So let me go do that real quick.
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is also a new camera which I'm filming on. Tell me if you guys like it. Um, I don't know how the microphone's gonna be, but we'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This was really fun to film. Uh, this was my first time ever actually trying a stucco background. I let it curate so it's non-toxic fruit. Come on, buddy. Please, keep it down. I just took you out. But yeah, uh, I let it curate so it's not toxic. I painted over it with uh, water-based paint to make sure that that's also non-toxic. I cleaned his water before putting him in there, just or putting her in there, just in case. Because you never know, there was some paint chips in there. Come on, buddy, you're so loud, please. Anyways, um, God, it was so much fun. I love doing this uh, this type of stuff. It was my first Australian bean terrarium. I've done a lot of jungle ones, but this was really fun and challenging, especially like finding plants that fit and everything. I love that log. I love how it came out. It only cost me $17 to do the escape. The snake and the tank I got from my good old muddy Max. I'll put them in the comments. She's a rescue. She was she wasn't being treated very well from the owner Max rescued her from. And now she's doing fantastic. Um, she's gained some weight. And yeah, she's just doing great overall. She's a great eater, great snake. Love that way that tank came out. And I keep looking over there because the tank's that way. I just keep looking at it. Bro, please. Please. Shh. For one minute. One minute. Thank you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my other social media, at GabeLK. And peace out. Thank <laughs> you.